Life is foggy. Jake, how you doing? It is the Talking Yanks pregame show. Yankees versus the Indians. Game three. Yankees looking to avoid being swept by the tribe. Getting their revenge on those damn Yankees who moved north. No. The Yankees moved west and swept the Indians out of population. So the Indians are now getting revenge on the Yankees from the north. There you go. Big revenge series. Big, Big revenge, revenge series. series. And they almost got it. Yankees got a save face here, win this last game. And uh, how are you feeling about this this game? Is it like a, it's like a must win. Are you uh, – how much – how much do they need to win this game for you? No, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about it in my what to watch for because that's, let's be honest, that's kind of what we are watching for. It's kind of seeing, you know, is this is this team going to bring it or are we going to lose? I'm I'm kind of on the, the point where bad series happen, um, a bad road trip had to happen at some point, and I think it's um, – it's a little bit we're at the point where it's like if, if – whoa, Noodle's pissed about it. If we were to lose this, you know, I think you just have to go, damn, that was an awful road trip, and wash your hands and start new. And I think if we win this, you say, well, we lost a couple sets. We came back. We won the third game each time. It was a road trip, and it, it is what it is. Let's 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 keep on keeping on. So that's kind of where I'm at. Where, where are you at? Um, same exact place. Same, same. That's my exact place. I mean, I'd really like to win today. It's going to be tough. Tanaka was supposed to pitch, but he had a baby. So congrats, Tanaka. Another child. I think another child. It's not their first child, right? I think it's another child. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah, we also just found out that Herman, um, is injured and going to the IL. We will be talking about that much later today after the game on our on our uh, series recap, because that's big news that we kind of need to flush out a little bit, but doesn't affect yeah. today's game, so we won't talk about it here. DD's out. Let's go straight to the lineup. We got DJ LeMahieu batting uh, first, playing second base. Aaron Hicks in center field. Luke Voigt first base. Gary at cleanup and catching. Glaber at shortstop. Clint Frazier DHing. Gardner in left field. Urshela at third base. And Maben in right field. Chad is the opener today. That uh, they have to sit Didi because he just came back from injury, and yeah. that's just the way they do things. And if you haven't accepted that yet, you're just going to be mad all the time. Um, accept it. He just he's coming back. He played two games. They said they're going to sit him once a series. This first couple series just to ease him into things. It really didn't have that long of like a recovery. I feel like he came up pretty quick. So it's going to happen. It's normal. They told us that beforehand. This is the best lineup they could do without. Without um, Didi, Romine and Morales on the bench. Yesterday they were both in the lineup. It sucked. They both need, they both needed not be in the lineup. I don't know if you've seen Romine's numbers on the series season, Jake. Um, they're they're incredibly bad. Yeah, man, I gave him a word. I think last series I, I, I said know. that he. It, it's at the point where like, hey, yo, you need to not make this a conversation because people will start talking. Eric Kratz's or other potential backup catchers because this this can't be a storyline. Um, Jim, I, I think that's that whole Romine talk. That's you know shouldn't be a discussion for this game. We've got Gary back in. Uh, Gary had played four straight games, and I was looking at the times of the games, Jim, and that kind of dictated what the Yankees were going to do because they couldn't. They would have even if they sat him game one, like this game would have been less than 24 hours. So then it's, do they DH him? So yesterday was the day to sit him. They did it. Um, it was um, kind of tough. Now the CC storylines, the thing is, this, this is all talking Yanks stuff. Jim, I, with this lineup, uh, man, the only thing that's getting me is this is the first time they're seeing Cameron Mabin in this series. Um, Cameron Mabin played all three games in Toronto. One is a late-inning replacement. He still ended up getting two at-bats. Or, or, no, he started all three games. Excuse me. He got pulled in that game. Um, and it's just tough because Cameron Mabin has been so solid for us um, on both sides of the ball. 
And with this Morales storyline picking up and getting worse and worse by the at bat, basically, it it feels insane that we haven't played Cameron Mabe in this series over him. Um, so I'm I'm excited to see him that that bottom of the lineup, man. Geo's magic has slowed down a little bit. Guardy is what 0 for 19 now, even though he had two of the hardest hit balls yesterday. Um, he was so uh, hopefully- he had two batted balls that were a foot away from a home run and a double on the game. Yeah, um, so it's – but, I mean, baseball Susan, and that's how slumps happen. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we we could kill for anything from that bottom of the lineup. And, yeah, I mean, you look back at yesterday and you're like, all right, no Gary and Voight. I mean, these are these are your potential all-star starters at first base and catcher. So what, what kind of mentality does that do the team? So, I don't know. That's That's where I'm at with the Yankees lineup. Uh, Indians have Lindor, Mercado, Santana, Kipnis, Luplo in right field, Ramirez at third, Perez catching, Bowers at first, and Martin in center field. Basically the same thing. Did we even change it? Is that the new lineup? I changed it. Yeah, that is a new lineup. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll see. Mercado killing us from that two hole, uh, Good, good for the kid, and we we woke up Jason Kipnis, um, and L- Luplo has an all star type effort yesterday. So um, I don't know that the Indians, and again, I, I think that's the other thing that Yankee fans can put in their back back pocket a little bit is the the consensus is this is the best the Indians have looked all year, and sometimes that happens. Um, that's what they said. They said that Friday's win for the Indians was their best win of the season. It was like, well, oh yeah. On. Combined with yesterday too, uh, this Whoa. this has been people have been saying this is easily their best series of the season. This is Whoa. the best they've played all year. That's a bummer. So, baseball, Susan. Damn. All right. The pitching path to victory for the Yankees is the bullpen. It's Chad for an inning, hopefully just one inning, and then Nestor. Uh, they're going to try to push him. <laughs> I know, but I hope they don't. Nestor comes in, uh, and then the whole bullpen's available. If they get like three out of Nestor, they got Holder. No, he's probably not going to pitch. No. They got Otto, Canely, Britton, Chapman. Um, that's four innings. So it's really going to be how much can Nestor and Chad give us? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're going to – if we've seen anything, they're going to push Chad two innings. That's, that's what they want him to do as the opener. That's why they've been pushing him. Um, and then, yeah, it'll, it'll be piece it together from there. It'll be interesting to see. We kind of saw with Toronto – um, that game three, we, we forget, you know, the Yankees have these quote unquote punt days when they were winning all these series. Um, and then we see other teams kind of do that too. So that would, Hey, get, get Bieber out of there early and turn it into a Cleveland punt day. We're fine with that. Fine with that. Fine with that. Shane Bieber. Uh, we faced him once last year. Check out the lineup that faced Shane Bieber last year. Brett Gardner, Aaron judge, Aaron Hicks, John Carlos Stanton, Greg bird in the five hole. Anduhar six, Neil Walker seven, Higashioka eight, and Tyler Wade nine. Yeah. They lost. Yeah. Stan hit a home run. Bird had a double. But they lost. He's having he's he's having a good season. Yeah. He's uh oh, it's good. Uh yeah, Jim. He he just turned twenty four, May thirty fourth, California boy. Um, grew up in Orange, Cali, UC Santa Barbara for college, Laguna Hills High School. Are you kidding me, bro? Pitching out in Cleveland? Um, but that's yeah, man, this, this guy. That's got a sock. He's from Cal- gotta- it's Laguna Beach. <laughs> He's from Santa Barbara. Going to school in Santa Barbara. He's fucking in Cleveland now. He's, yeah. He didn't, he didn't know places like that existed in America. Yeah. And, uh, he uh, is pitching this year, Jim. It's it's been good, but it has been kind of coin flippy. I mean, there's for for every three good starts, there's kind of two bad ones, um, or or at least in recent history, uh, Boston got to him recently. Two starts ago, Boston got him five innings, six earned runs. But his last start against your Twins, uh, seven innings pitched, two earned runs. So I. I, I don't know. I mean the the guy can the guy can twirl a little, a little bit, and I he's uh <laughs> he is more highly regarded than uh, the guys who've pitched the past two days, Plutko and Plesak, the peas. 
live from Progressive. Good Sweeney Murtai tweet. Um, but uh, yeah, Jim, that's uh, and I, I don't know if you want to go there, but I think that ties into your what to watch for a little bit. My what to watch for today's game is to score runs. I know it yeah, sounds, yes. I know it sounds stupid, but Didi's out, sure, but the rest of the lineup: DJ, Hicks, Voigt, Gary, Glaber, Frazier. Our top seven's damn good, or top six. Top six. Top six, damn good. I like, I like those guys. They should be scoring runs. We have a bullpen day going on. I don't want Nestor to have to pitch in a tie game. Like, fucking, can we score runs early and make this a little bit of a breathing room? It's not going to be a laugher. I, don't, I guarantee that. But can we just score some damn runs? Like, not – and, and keep scoring runs. That top seven's good. I mean, and then Urshela and Mabin, I still like those guys. And Gardner was, he's 0 for 30 or whatever, but he hit balls hard yesterday. Like, can the offense just explode, please? And the guaranteed, <laughs> guaranteed a non, a non blowout and then ask the offense to please explode. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, everything you said is right, wrong. though. This uh the 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 top six is a six that we're we're happy to go into battle with. Um Urshela in a bit of a slide, Guardian in a bit of a slide. Um and again, maybe getting his first run this series. And I, I don't know, Jim, I not that I want to feel dumb, but I think we're gonna look back and be like it would be frustrating if the Yankees play kind of that fun Yankees baseball they've been playing and we're like, Oh yeah, Cameron Maven had a a double, a walk, and a stolen base. And we're like, oh, thank God we saved this guy for the last game of the series and we watched the Kendry's Morales show. Well, uh, that that's a bigger conversation for tonight. But yeah. Right. Yeah. That, right. But it ties into this game. That's that's a chunk. And hopefully we are saying that. That would that would honestly be decent news because that means we won this game. Yeah. Um James, my what to watch for. Um, one of my favorite corny phrases, fight or flight. Um I'm a flight it's, guy. It's, it's what we talked about earlier in the show. Um, you know, A, what kind of Yankees team are we getting today? Are we getting Yankees opener Chad Green to Nestor Cortez? This has been the road trip from hell. Let's get the hell out of here. And, you know, if it's a loss or a win, we don't care. Let's just go. Or are we going to get the Yankees that are like, damn, we, we got to salvage this. And let's let's have another happy flight. And let's – uh. Let's put this road trip behind us. So um, definitely checking around to see what some of the energy is. Um, would love if the Yankees could put a couple up early and we get like a Cleveland punt day, as long as we don't see Brad Hand out of their bullpen today. Jeez, how good is that going to look? Um, so I'm, uh, it's, it's fight or flight today. And I think um, – and I, I think it's funny that you and I have compartmentalized it, but – both of those end up being okay. Well, they end up being okay if you start winning again. Like e even if we if we lose today and you just go Ooh, road trip from hell and then we start winning again, that's fine. You just check it off as a road trip from hell. But give me um, give, give me something, babe. Give me, Chad, be electric, Chad. Be the be the Chad that opened that game against the Padres. I think it was. We are three and zero oh in games that Chad Green starts. Look at that. We have not lost an opener day thus far. Only three. Ooh. We've won all of them. So let's just win this one. Yeah. Actually, when Chad pitches, we're 13 and seven, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> A little bizarre knowing <laughs> knowing how his season's gone so far. But we're, we're, yeah, also, let's... we're also the last 11 games Chad Green has pitched in, the Yanks have won 10 of them. How about that? Is magic. Chad Green is magic. New Chad. rule. Yeah, that's a new rule. Are we uh, are we ready to move on to the Homer draft? I think we are. Homer draft. It's the Homer draft. We didn't we didn't do a show yesterday, so this is kind of flawed. Flawed. Pissing me off. Do you want do you want to uh, do you want to get three people each today just to make it more fun since we missed yesterday? Whoa, you're insane, lady. The two thirds of the lineup. I, hey, I'm not against it. How, how are we doing this dance? I think you are up first. Well, I will go up first. No, I you're not. Didi. No, you're not. You chose Didi first. Okay. 
Because you said you rarely get to go first. You're excited. Yeah. Now I'm excited. I'm going to get to go first again, but continue. Okay. For my first pick, I'm taking number 45, Luke Voigt. Yeah. Did was... you see my hat turn? I think you missed my smooth hat turn, Jake. Missed your hat turn. Yeah. Missed your well, hat turn. It was really the coolest thing that anyone's ever done in the last 30 seconds. Nice, man. Yeah. Um, try, try to top cool. it. You won't. Cool beans. So am I going two? I just go one. Wow. No, you uh, go two, then I go two, then you go one. I never knew my snakes as well. I don't know. That's where the three really scared me, but we'll we'll see where it lands. Um, give me Glaber Torres. Okay. Okay. Wow. Good for you. And then, I mean, I'm my my final two guys are going to be the guys that you took on Monday, so I'm just going to do it. I mean, it's it's Clinton Gary. That's fucked. Yeah. That's a good good squad. You have Glaber Glaber Clinton Gary. Fuck. Yeah. All right, well, I have Voight, Hicks, and let me get weird with this. Like, do Ooh. I go Maben? Do I go Arshella? Do I go D oh, DJ? Or Gardner? He was roping him yesterday. He's got a split lip now. Let me go split lip Gardner. Split lip Guardy in the 0 for 19, but a couple hard hit balls yesterday. Okay, so we have six of the nine. So that means Cameron Raven, Urshela, and DJ LeMahieu will be homering today. Yes, so enjoy, guaranteed homer. <laughs> enjoy that, everybody. Um, cool. All right. I pick Romine and Morales. Bad pick. They're on the bench, and they're not going to pinch hit because they both suck. Yeah. All right, we will be live as soon as this game's over with our post-game recap series. Uh, if you're a Patreon member, you can listen to it live. If not... Go check it out on all the podcast apps a little later on once it's edited and up. It's a lot to talk about, especially with this Herman injury and a uh, bunch of dead weight at the bottom of the 25, man, that we got to sort out. Tons to sort out. It'll be a good episode. We got a lot to talk about, so check that out. Otherwise, we will be back. Do they have a game tomorrow, Jake? Yeah, Matt's, right? Yeah. Yeah, a little Chubway series. A little two-gamer, I think. Two games versus the Mets. We will be back for that. Thank you, guys. Way to turn it around. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? It kind of is because you're like – it's like a Boston series almost. Like the the pressure and the intensity comes where the crowd almost forces you like, hey, get up for this game. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited for that off this dull road trip. But that's more for the show. See you guys later.